Well, hey guys, uh, glad to see you in life groups again this week. I'm Lynn Hansen, one of the pastors here at North Park Church, and uh, just want to welcome you to life group. We're in a series here that uh, we've um, been calling uh, uh, Who Told You That? And it's all about the sayings of Jesus. When, when he would say, I tell you the truth, he was working on straightening out our thinking. And he said that a lot of times throughout uh, his, uh, his short ministry of three and a half years. And what he's telling us is that our thinking a lot of times is upside down and kind of backwards. And, and, and Jesus is trying to straighten that thinking out for us. You know, one of the times that he was doing this, he, he was talking about um, telling people about himself, about telling people about Jesus. Now, believers are called to go therefore and tell, make disciples. We're, we're, that's what our lives are about. That's why we're here. Now, we make it about all kinds of other things, but that's, that's why we're here. That's why God has left us here on planet Earth, is to tell other people about Jesus. Now, there's no other way to get to God except through Jesus. There's no other way to get to heaven. There's no other way to have a full, abundant life. And so telling people about Jesus is the most loving, caring thing you can do. But uh, how many of you understand that very often what gets in the way is fear, right? And, and when fear hits us, it, it really kind of stops that process of sharing Jesus with people. And in, in the process of doing that, then it keeps us from um, accomplishing the purpose, the reason that we're here on planet Earth. So that's what he's talking about in our passage today from Matthew chapter 10. And uh, let me just share the story with you. And afterward, you're going to retell and rebuild this story. Here we go, though. If any household or town, Jesus says, if any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. I tell you the truth, the wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah will be better off than such a town on Judgment Day. Look, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves. So be as shrewd as snakes and harmless as doves. But beware, for you will be handed over to courts and will be flogged with whips in the synagogues. You will stand trial in courts uh, before governors and kings because you are my followers. But this will be your opportunity to tell the rulers and other unbelievers about me. When you are arrested, don't worry about how to respond or what to say. God will give you the right words at the right time. For it is not you who will be speaking, it will be the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. What a great passage of Scripture. Now, uh, in your groups, if you would, please uh, just somebody step up and try to retell that story as best you can from memory. Everybody else add in what they might have missed and we'll kind of reconstruct that, that story. Go ahead, please. All right, well, I really hope you enjoyed getting that uh, story rebuilt and retold. It's so important for us to do that, and it's a lot of fun, too. So I hope you're stepping up and doing that, stepping out of your fear zone with that little exercise. But here's some discussion questions that we're going to talk about this particular passage and what it is that God has to say to us through it. And we're going to work on understanding and learning uh, how we can uh, listen carefully to God on our own uh, through God's Word. So... Question number fun, number fun, yeah. Question number one, when was the last time you openly shared Jesus with somebody? Okay, no worming out of this question. When was the last time you openly shared Jesus with someone? And then the second part of the question is, what exactly happened? Okay, success story, failure story, chicken story, whatever it is, uh, go ahead and, and share that, would you please? All right, question number two, looking at our story again, uh, again, I want to ask you to just pray for a moment and let the Holy Spirit speak to you so that uh, you're getting His Word and His understanding of things instead of your own. But looking at our story again in question two here, where will Jesus send us to tell people about Him? Okay, look at the story, uh, come up with some examples out of the story. Where are some places that Jesus is going to send you to tell about Him? Go ahead.
Now, question number three is, uh, uh, you know, looking back at the story again, Jesus says, if any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message about Jesus, shake the dust from your feet as you leave. What do you think Jesus means when he says, shake the dust from your feet as you leave? What do you think he means by shake the dust from your feet as you leave? All right, talk that over, pray about it, let God speak to you a little bit, and share your ideas about that. Well, guys, uh, looking here at question four, have someone in your group read uh, verse 19 very slowly, uh, methodically, aloud to the group. And uh, um, when you share, when we share, or fear to share, Jesus is either, uh, it, it's either our words or it's God's words. So when we're out there and God prompts us to share with somebody, it's either our words or, or the words of God himself. Uh, you know, we're either in ourselves or we're in the spirit as we're out there doing this. We're trusting one or the other. We're trusting in ourselves or we're trusting in God. And that's kind of a hard word, but it's the truth. You know, in verse 19, he says, don't worry about what you'll say. God will give you the words. That's true if you're in the spirit, if you're allowing God to tell you what to say. But if you're in yourself and it's all about you and, you know, you're really not prayed up, you're not a person who's spending time with God, growing in the Lord, learning to listen to the spirit. Well, you know, it's probably your words. And uh, that can be a very terrifying thing to try to approach somebody with your own words. In fact, it's why we are afraid. Looking carefully at this, what might be the problem then when fear wins out? Okay, so you're out there and, and you know, you're, you're thinking, I need to share Jesus. You know, I've got this in me. I'm desiring to share Jesus. But fear wins and you don't. You clam up. What might be the problem? Okay, look carefully at our story. Thinking about verse 19, what might be the problem when you clam up? Go ahead, please. Well, obviously, you know, I'm really not in the spirit um, when I clam up, when, I, when fear wins, I'm really not trusting God on his words, I'm trusting mine and my ability, and that's why I clam up, that's why I fear. So let's have a time of repentance here. Honestly, God says, go therefore and make disciples. You know, that's not what you're doing if you're not getting out there as a believer, because we have the cure, and uh, you know, we should be out there sharing it. If we really love Jesus and love people, then we're going to grow up, and as we mature, we're going to be sharers of the Word. We're going to be sharers of, of the gift of Jesus. It's an awesome thing that we have, that we possess, that we can share. And so if we're not doing that, and we've lived in fear, and we've been afraid to do that, let's have a time of repentance. It looks something like this, maybe. You know, Jesus, to tell you the truth, to tell the truth about this, I really haven't done a good job of sharing you. I really haven't been open about my relationship with you. I have feared and I've trusted in myself more than I've trusted in you and I've clammed up and I've not really shared you with people. Um, I want to repent of that. I want to do a 180. I want to begin to be a sharer uh, of Jesus. I want to begin to get out there and tell people about you. So, it, you know, your repentance might look something like that. Go ahead and take time for that now, please. Question number five, then, is our takeaway question. Um, you know, what is God wanting you to take away from your life group tonight? What is it that, uh, or this week, excuse me, what is it that God wants you to take away, walk away with? What's the big idea? If you don't have this, um, you know, you, you'll walk away with nothing, really. So uh, bless you guys, and uh, really pray that uh, you're having an awesome experience in your life group. You know, and if, if not... You need to make it everything that uh, it can be. Are you uh, doing everything that you can do? What's your part in this? Uh, God bless you.
grow in Christ. See you soon.